If you weren't aware, Vivzipop posted three streams this week where she announced some interesting information about the series, the characters, and hints for future seasons. There was about four and a half hours worth of content, so to save you the time, I'm going to give you a quick summary of all the key info that was mentioned. The first thing is that the Gates of Heaven, shown in the Sharub episode, is technically the Gates to Sharub Town and not the Gates to Heaven itself. There's jokes about it being a gated community. Vivzipop again basically reaffirmed that half the info on the wiki is inaccurate. She said this in the past, but mentioned it again this stream as a reminder to everyone. Vivzi wants to give Millie more songs. Vivzi confirmed there will be a Stola song that subverts expectations in how it sounds. There will be a Stola song that will make us quote unquote lose our shit. There will be an equivalent song to Moxie's Bad Trip in season 2. Some Stola songs will have different genres. Stolas is based on classical music while Blitzo is based on rock music. When asked about a Stolitz duet, Sam Haft, who is the music producer for the show, said maybe while being giddy, so most likely we will see one. There will be a more centric Luna episode, which I'm excited for. Fizz and Ollie will be shown more along with more Fizz songs. So about two hours ago, Vivzi did a drawing stream and it derailed when she accidentally showed the URL and random people started joining and drawing art. Stolas lives in the Ring of Pride but does not live in Pentagram City. There are multiple cities within the Ring of Pride. The concept of IMP going up against the Sharubs or something similar is an older concept intended to be a part of the show. Season 2 is a branch off of the initial ideas presented in Season 1. The writers have a far more concrete idea of where to take the show and state that Season 2 is more serialized than season 1. Vivzi was asked by one fan, why is Blitzo so obsessed with horses? To which she responded, why not? It became a running joke by the writers that Blitzo loves the horse spirit from the movie. Eventually this became part of his characterization and this also occurred before the release of the first episode. Vivzi also stated that these kinds of running jokes become a part of someone's characterization and it's a common occurrence throughout the show. Vivzi mentioned a predominant amount of characters are gay or queer in the show simply because most characters in other shows are not. This is not indicative of a trend that all people in hell are gay. Episode 8 is incredibly far along. A lot of progress has been made in season 2 concurrently. A little bit longer to wait for episode 8, but once it's out, all new episodes will be released in a far more consistent and fast manner. Vivzi mentions that going forward, episodes will be roughly around 45 minutes, and that she's also had to deal with a little bit of legal stuff with the finale of episode 8, but there's no hint as to what this was. If you'd like to see the clip, I posted it earlier, so I'll have it linked down in the description. Within the same stream, she also mentions that the first episode of season 2 is something that Vivzi speculates will be really well received by the fans with more explicit content within it. For any wondering about the reasons for the delay regarding episode 8, it has been said that many of the staff have either moved or are working concurrently with Husband Hotel. So that's most of the information from the stream. It's good that Vivzi has been consistent with providing us updates, along with a recently revealed sneak peek. Vivzi has stated that the finale is ambitious, so I'm really excited. Let me know down below your thoughts, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.